was 14 years old, and uh, I spoke to my mother like I usually do every morning. Mm -hmm. And my chest just rattled. She was stunned. I was stunned. We stood there looking at each other. I was scared to speak. I was scared to say anything else. Uh, <laughs> and it's, suddenly tears started rolling down her face, and she said, my baby became a man today. <laughs> so and that's the day I started shaving. Uh, I started well, your beard just popped out like that. The next morning, after the day of my voice changing, the hair started going on my face. Hormones were flowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, was there a point at which, when you were an adolescent, your voice dropped and then it just yes, kept going? I was 14. That, yeah, oh, wow. I was a very high soprano as a boy, which is common for a very high boy's voice to drop completely down to the cellar wow. and then some. So, you know. do you already do any voiceovers, man? When's the last time your voice cracked? Um, first grade. <laughs> I mean, yeah, about the, my voice probably changed about 14. Dude! <laughs> but, uh, when he started smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, smoking Only cigarettes touched my mouth is a candy cigarette. Oh. Well, I was born in a simple log cabin. In, no, that's not true. Uh, when I was 13 years old, my voice changed in the middle of a sentence. Mom, I'll help you with the dishes. Literally. And it never went back. And I was just cut up in class. And when I went to school the next day, I didn't want to talk. And, and the teacher got bugged about it. She said, why aren't you saying something? And I said, what do you want me to say? And I was sent to the office because she thought I was screwing with her. Uh, and for a while, there was a really upset me. But then I discovered that I could be everybody's dad. Jimmy can't come to school today because he's not feeling very well. But when did you discover that you had like this unique talent for singing the really, really low notes? You know, actually it was uh, in between uh, eighth grade year and freshman year of high school. My voice changed during that time. And so I went to school and the kids were like, why does your voice sound like that? Why are you talking weird? And I was like, I don't really know. But then I realized <laughs> that my voice actually changed a lot lower. I didn't even know. It was pretty crazy. That uh, is amazing. Yeah. Is Australia as far away from home as you've been because of this? Uh, yeah. I think yeah, it may be. A lot of places. Yeah. Man, you have got the world's deepest voice, bro. Well, thank you. <laughs> Some, yeah, wow, okay. Did you just, have you always had that? No, uh, it changed uh, eighth grade year. So when I was like 14, it just, you were like, ah, went. and then, uh, that's exactly Now, it. something that uh, probably, I, no matter what I did, I wouldn't get a voice like yours. You have right. that amazing voice. Thank you. Uh, thank you, you. It's a, that's a gift to have a voice. That like is a that. gift. That is when a gift. did you realize, when did the voice, uh, when did you have that voice? It changed at like 12 years old. Really. <laughs> so you weren't like a, you weren't like a baby going, goo. No, I, almost. I was just, mm -hmm. I had a, a voice like a little higher. And then right. I woke up and I said, hey, mom, I want, I said, mom. And I started crying. Right. Because I missed that other voice. And my mother said, my baby's turned into a man. And then uh, it got to be where the, the girls liked it. I was like, hey, Darlene, how you doing? And she's like, hey, Michael. And I'm like, well, this kind of works right here, you know? So You want a Twinkie from my lunchbox? Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> to have a voice like that at 12. Yeah. That's into it. That's when everything changed for yeah, you. Yeah, everything changed. You wow. know, I started getting. I was 29 when. Uh, when you got this voice. When I went through my bodily changes. Right. Um,